All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan, and uh, woke up uh, late again because uh, now, yeah, just been getting a lot of energy. So I think uh, once I make the adjustment, you know, I'll be able, able to eat less and stuff, and then whatever. I shouldn't have so much energy because I didn't go to sleep till like two a.m. again last night. I also spent like three, four hours programming too. Like it's surprisingly hard. To make it so that when my character gets in range of an interactable object, because that's what I was working on yesterday, it was so effing hard. Because the tutorial I'm looking at for Brackies is 3D, so I have to like convert all his logic to 2D. And he's adding a lot of unnecessary stuff that I don't have. And like that took a couple hours. <clears throat> then I can't even remember, but then I had to figure out why he was constantly throwing up like this doesn't exist there or that doesn't exist there it's called like an object reference thing uh and then um yeah and i'm also trying to remember i was trying to feed a value to something too and then like that was causing a different error now i'm actually curious what was the error let me see um uh scripts Let's see, we want interactable.cs. I'm gonna actually fire it up and find out. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, it has interacted, so that was working. Yeah, I was trying to feed a value called player transform, and for some reason that was giving me some sort of weird error when I was trying to feed the um, the value into my uh, into my code. Let's see, let's go to the player controller here. Let's see. Interactable, interactable, feed an item called call interaction interactable the object. Well, now I remember why. It was because I was feeding it an empty object, even though I declared it. And I was like wondering what, what was I doing? And I realized, oh yeah, I already created the object that I wanted it to feed. That that was the whole point of me doing all that code, but because I was so focused on trying to figure out how to fix the first problem. Yeah. <laughs> So that, that, that's why. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that, yeah. And that took four hours to do something as simple as <clears throat> if you are in range, can you interact with this object? That's literally all it does. But uh, the good news is my game is very simple. Most video games are actually simple. All right? What is an RPG? You spawn in, you walk around, you shoot or you attack with your sword, depending on what kind of game you're making. All right? Uh, you loot, all right, and all the mechanics that go with it, like bring up the UI, swap the loot, you know, looting, right? Then you get out and leave. And of course, you attack enemies, you loot their bodies, and of course, they attack you, and sometimes you die. And in a multiplayer game, other people can loot your corpse. Uh, and then you just leave, and that's all it is. And then, of course, you know, the easy part, which is probably like statistics and skills, like they just do something. That's probably pretty easy. I, can, I think maybe the skills would be a little more difficult, though. If I want my skills to actually do something unique. Uh, in my case, I'm already trying to figure out what I wanted to do. So, I don't know. I'll, I, obviously, as I go along, I'll figure it out. But I still want to keep my skills kind of um, simplified. But I also want a pretty deep skill tree, too. Because I want like different kinds of progression in my game. So that there's always a reason to play. <coughs> So, yeah, so again, I'm thinking about a kind of like hybrid system between Albion sandbox leveling. Though, is that even though I very much like the more you use something, the more skill and experience you get in it, uh, it's very exploitable in a way. Because what I don't want is people just spawning in and just doing uh, skill ups at the spawn instead of actually playing the game. So, um, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But I'm already leaning towards you just earn experience and then you just spend it on whatever, you know, you want to work your way towards. I also like that system better because it's a lot uh, less code heavy for me. All right. Whereas if, you know, if you shoot your gun more, you get more, you know, gun experience in like a certain weapon type, like a rifle or pistol. All right. Well, now I have to code something in a pen for that, right? And then if I, and then let's say you use like a fucking plasma uh, rifle, right? Because again, it's a sci-fi game, so you want some sort of fallout-like progression. It's like, well, now I need a separate experience system for it. It's like, you know what? 
why don't I just have it so that you just assign whatever you want? It's not it's not quite what I want, but I'm trying to keep things as simple and casual friendly as possible. Not only for the customer, but also for myself. So, you know, I can save all that like cool complicated shit for like, you know, five, ten, fifteen years down the line if like this game becomes ultra successful and like I'm looking to make like a new game, you know. Then I assume, you know, at that point I will have employees working for me. So, you know, I can have them, you know, help out with the complicated stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, so and Panta, I want to see. Uh, I want to wait. I actually really want to play Banner Lord too. Uh, too, you know, Mountain Blade too. Game's really good, but they got so many bugs <laughs> to fix. Yeah, and what's cool is now that I'm teaching myself programming, now I actually understand why they're getting the bugs. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so you know, I'm actually uh, getting better at coding. I'm actually getting better. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, well, we'll move along. So anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for this week is still 13. Again, I'm coming down a little bit of something. It's probably the cold, right? Because it was fine yesterday. Right? I think I also, yesterday or two days, I went to the... So I think it's actually that stupid spinach store where I go get my spinach. That's the only other place that I've been exposed to. And like, you know, all right, I've got like crap to deal with. <clears throat> so it looks like cryptocurrency is up because again, I know what I'm doing. And uh, I have some fucking retards on my bit shoot just unfollowing me because for some reason I'm not buying gold. Yeah, there's a reason why I don't buy gold because it's retarded. So I guess you can't deal with the fucking boomers. Like they're they're just so fucking dumb, right? Gold and silver is a dumb, retarded, you know, investment. That's why boomers love that shit because they're too dumb and closed-minded to fucking expose themselves to any new ideas. So. But whatever, you know, it's like uh, we're, they got they took all our money through the bailout in a way. But, you know, we'll take it back. So that's just how it goes. And I'm finally glad that crypto's up, too. So and apparently the markets are way up today, too. So very good. So let's just because I didn't do any research. Like I woke up late. I did all my video game shit. I'm still technically doing my video game shit. I'm actually going to pause Galaxy of Heroes here. No, actually, I guess I could keep that going for a little while longer. Um, so, I don't know, we're just going to do it on the fly. That's usually the best, too, because you actually, because I actually want to just teach you how I look at things and the process of it, because that's actually how you're going to get rich. Because, again, if I stop doing these videos or something happens to me, well, you'll be able to figure it out on your own. And if you don't, well, I, uh, well you know, you just got to start the process. Bitcoin done is at 65.5%. 24-hour volume is actually better finally at 128.4 billion. So it's still pretty crappy, but at least it's better than the past few days. Bitcoin has gone up a nice chunk. Now it's up to 67.43, thank God. Um, Litecoin's at 39.78. So it's uh, so it's pretty much, um, everyone's basically matching Bitcoin, right? In terms of, you know, price chart increases. But obviously everything's still pretty muted. Because again, this uh, this lockdown shit is really starting to get annoying, right? I'm particularly again annoyed that Trump for I mean I guess he has to kind of go along with it, but basically the government is now saying best case scenario 100,000 250,000 Americans die from coronavirus if we do everything that we're doing now, which is who the fuck believes that, right? You know, at least Mike you know brought that up. I mentioned it yesterday, but now that I really sit down and think about it now because now I had. More time to think on it, and you know, I was, kind of, I was thinking about other things like video games, my story, because I've been working heavily on my story for my game, right? Uh, so I came out with some really great ideas. It's it's totally gonna piss off uh, satanic uh, pedo bears and shit, but you know, they can all go to hell. Actually, they are probably headed <laughs> headed there, right? But um, again, that's for God to decide, and not me. All I know is I want to stay away from those idiots, and I don't want their money anyway. Um, so I was working on that, and of course, I was programming, so I was really distracted. But, uh, yeah, that's way too much. It's called, it's actually starting to affect my life personally. Because now I've got my stupid parents constantly calling me up because they're fucking scared to death. I'm going to die from coronavirus. It's like, can you just stop fucking calling, right? You know, it's exactly like Jesse Lee Peterson said, right? Mothers just can't effing let go. Like, live, let me live my life, you know? I could be married, giving a speech in front of the entire country as president of the United States, and my mom will still like call me. It's like, hey, where are you? Are, are you okay? It's like, my God, 
You know, it, it, it's, you know, it, it, like, uh, like, I still have to forgive my parents, but the problem is, once I do that, my, my mom, I know my mom, the first thing she's going to do is she's going to be even more controlling. It's going to be very problematic. It's going to cause more problems. So, but, you know, the problem is I'm supposed to do it for my own sake. So what the hell am I going to do? All right. And I can't have her constantly calling my damn cell phone like 24 seven. Right? It's just too disruptive to my life. So what the hell do I do? I don't know. But anyway, I can't see anybody anyway, because again, coronavirus. So you know, I have until like maybe this Thanksgiving to really figure it out. So and we'll just see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I'll figure it out though. I always do. All right, so dog coins at 231.777 market cap, so pretty good. Uh, let's see, is Steam going up? Because it's been having a lot of trouble, well, probably because of uh, Hive. All right, so Steam is up, so that probably means um, Hive is also up. Uh, 16 to 0.36. Um, I don't know. We have, I don't feel like switching off a of coin market cap. And it turns out coin market cap really is going to get bought up by Binance, apparently. All right, so this thing is just going crazy, so I don't know what's going on here. Uh, everything is up a little bit. Uh, yeah, this. Yeah, this. So Rebel took a big hit. It's going up. Yeah, so here, what you have to remember is this is probably a dead cat bounce. Yesterday. Wait, today? Wait, what day is today? Today's Thursday? Holy shit. Oh, man. I thought today was Wednesday. <laughs> Okay, I, I seriously thought today was Wednesday, man. See, see, that's why I love living La Vida Loca, man. It's like, I don't even know what day it is, because I don't have to care what day it is. <laughs> All right, so anyway, the past couple of days, we had some down days. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, this this chart's too too big. It's all right, There we go. So we had a couple down days, right? Um, so Monday was down up a little bit then Tuesday Wednesday was down a lot yeah so basically we're kind of going you know dead cat bouncing however it does look like because the magnitude of the drops don't seem as bad and the magnitudes of the increases are kind of matching each other a little bit right I mean so far this doesn't seem like that's why I said 15,000 for the Dow if things really hit the fan so I still think the trend still is kind of downish, but it's not as bad again yet as March because because what's going to kill what's everyone what's everyone going to not make everyone worried is now so now jobless claims are six million is we already the market has already priced in unemployment and probably the April rent payment problems but the good news is the government everybody is already working collectively to solve that like they not only acknowledge that that the problems uh there but they're actively trying to solve it so that reassures investors because they know oh okay there will be uh there will be relief and help for everybody right or as, as many people as they can help republicans raise big amounts of a coronavirus crisis yeah uh well what they also don't tell you is the democrats are doing the same dumb shit right you know because again this is yahoo finance so they still lean i mean just like everybody they lean left so it's it's just retarded all right but trust me if the democrats were really as poor as they were they wouldn't be have they wouldn't have control of the house they wouldn't have control over you know academia the government and all this other shit the entertainment and the media and blah 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 all right you know they've got their they've got their money plus they have the they actually have the federal government funding them through you know planned parenthood and all the other shit so and that does not show up under under any of the accounting because that shows up under planned parenthood so like do you understand how the scam works right but you're made to think that oh you know republicans are everything no we're not we we're fucking nobodies right because if we were somebody we'd be in control of everything which is why they're going after the groypers and nick fuentes so hard and they're batting everybody off the internet all right that actually speaks the real truth that technically includes me which is why i don't talk about the real truth that much anymore you know in fact i can't even put it in my game because it's gonna get deplatformed so and, and what will we really gain right not, not much <laughs> so it's like all right so yeah but anyway you'll see you'll see that the decision i made to not talk about certain things so i won't talk about sexuality i won't talk about so that includes transgenders and homosexuality and all that stuff uh and of course that means that includes gay marriage i won't be talking about abortion even though it's supposed to be a pretty big part of my actual story 
<clears throat> but I think I'll just leave that one out because that's actually a really big source of income. So that, that like just like if you go after the pedo bears, legit, the globes will just outright try to kill you. Uh, abortions are not quite at that level, but it's like a couple steps right below that. So they won't kill you, but they'll do literally everything else. So it's like, all right, you know, it's just like I gotta let that one go. Um, uh, let's see, right? But I'm trying to think, like maybe I could try to at least have some kind of passing references to it. So I think what I'll just do is, in my like I'll have you, the player characters, ask, hey, so what about the abortion or, or like the the new. Or like the new women's health regulation, they'll be kind of obvious what, what he's referring to. It's like I think we all know. I think we all know what the rules are, you know, but we can't even talk about it now, and we still can't even, even though we're technically independent now. But I think everyone agrees it's uh, not for the best. So you know, I'll keep it a little vague, but I'm gonna try to like try to see. That's why I don't. I don't that's why I don't like sneaking around and all this lying bullshit, right? You know, it's like it's fun in a video game when you want to play like Metal Gear, but <laughs> it's, yeah. But yeah, I'll I'll think of something. But basically, the really crazy controversial shit, you know, it just won't be mentioned. Um, <clears throat> or I'll just simply have it to just say, yeah, you know, it's a, it, it's illegal now, but we're just not gonna talk too much more about it. And they just leave it at that. And then, you know, the left will get angry. It's like, oh, you, uh, uh, abortions are illegal. It's like, uh, 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 you know, so, yeah. You know, oh, actually, yeah. And then, like, when you, because uh, I don't want to spoil it, but then, like, from the point of view of the bad people, well, we'll just call them the evil empire for now, right? Um, they'll just say, you see, they made it illegal, blah, blah, blah. That's why they're evil people. So, you know, it'll be, uh, but it's going to also piss off the liberals because they'll be like, hey, we're portrayed as the bad guys. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, because you are, because you're fucking taking people's jobs away. You're removing their internet. Well, in this case, the uh, got galaxy internet access and all that stuff, just like in real life. <laughs> like, go fuck yourselves, right? My game, my rules. So, I don't know. But even then, that could cause, like, you know, some some issues. So, we'll, 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 we'll see. But, yeah, I still just want it to be, like, more of, like, a much smaller issue in the game than everything else. So, you know, because, again, I know how incredibly problematic it is to talk about it. So, and it really pisses me off. It's like, dude, it's, it's, it's art. Can I? Yeah, but whatever. <clears throat> So anyway, Rebel hasn't really been increasing too much from today, uh, despite this, so I think it's finally worth what it's really worth. Um, and on top of that, it's going to be directly negatively impacted by the rent... Mm. Uh, excuse me, by the rent... Uh, oh, damn it, I forgot to pause this shit when I was supposed to. By the uh, rent payments uh, for April. So, um, whatchamacallit, we're just gonna have to see how that goes. Uh, but again, between, uh, the Tom Barrett guy basically said, we'll have to keep wearing between April 1st, today's the 2nd, up until April 10th, right? Um, but, uh, you know, they're actively working on it. So, so far, so good, but, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna, cons I'm gonna assume for the time being that this is a dead cat bounce. However, it's 11 a.m., so, who knows if... If today they make up all the losses or most of it from yesterday, then yeah, it's probably a dead cat. It's not, and then I wouldn't consider it a dead cat bounce at this point. But uh, if it doesn't, then yeah. But with that being said, even if it is a dead cat bounce, I don't think it's going to be that bad. Right? So because so far the markets have been generally been pretty stable. Com again, compared to March, where it's just March was just a complete bloodbath. So, um, and on top of that, Trump knows if the stock market goes. So does he, right? So, and he's a real estate guy, so he knows exactly all the money shit. So he, he's already on top of it. So is Steve Mnuchin. So uh, I, I think we'll be fine. I, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. It, it's really the fear mongering and like uh, the paranoia that's actually going to become the problem, which is directly creating more shutdowns, right? Which then affects me personally because I don't want my idiot mom to constantly fucking bother me on the phone, right? It's like, you know, you're constantly, it's like, it's like, will you just stop worrying? It's like, you, oh God, I really hope my wife doesn't wind up like that. So that's why, A, I want to make sure I'm aware of it so I don't, so I make sure she's not like that. And number two, I better go forgive my parents, regardless of how I feel about it, because, you know, you know, I need to go free, all right? You know, so. 
Anyway, JMC is at six to seven. <clears throat> four oh four is at also six to yeah, six to seven, so it's pretty good, so very stable. Two by two is at sixty-three to sixty-five, also very stable. And compound coin is holding pretty steady at seventy-six twenty to eighty-five fifty. So uh, prices are pretty stable for the uh, exact cryptocurrencies, even though everything else is going up. So that's actually kind of nice. So so far so good. Um, you know, obviously I want Bitcoin back to like eight grand or ten grand. Hell, I'll take eight thousand dollars at this point. Um, and then uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see. Because <clears throat> I don't really care about uh, the news from. Well, I guess we'll check. Oh my god. Firefox is truly the worst browser there is out there. And I can't even use any of the others, right? Because I really have to be able to use my VPN. And I can't use VPN on Chrome because that's my main browser and that's got all my logins and private shit. So you're never gonna see that. And then number two, I need a sh I need to be able to do these streams, so that's why I need a second browser. So you know, it's like this is uh Cryptocurrency boom will spawn millions of tokens. Yeah, well, we kind of already know that. France says the DDD Ethereum and Ripple could power central bank digital currency. So this is actually a really good thing. France has already been on the forefront of creating like a France coin. So I guess this is what they're. I guess this is the direction they're going. <coughs> um, so because it's a government coin, right? Like an actual government crypto. Yeah, it's naturally going to be kind of centralized. But since they're using both Ethereum and XRP. Yeah, you'll probably be able. You can use the Ethereum part, I guess, to create more um, privacy, right? Because like when you have cash, that's private, right? Funny enough, the government government actually allows you to have that, but of course, people exploit that too. So, what do you do? And then uh, I saw Rouge V also hear about this, and then basically bash crypto, and then what France is doing, and I just found that so annoying. It's like. Uh, you know, it's like, I mean, I really would prefer not to bash, especially fellow Nick Fuentes type supporters, but this is exactly why conservatives will retake power, but they won't be able to hold any power. You know, like, it's just so ignorant. It's, it's just like so ignorant. Like, uh, uh, and I just don't even want to just bother. And then, I, and then like, I'm trying, and then like, I also said a couple of things and it's like, Hey, and it's like, well, racism, people would rather not be racist than whatever. It's like, yeah, I get that, but it's also true. Like, can can you can you and people like you stop fucking antagonizing, you know, us Chinese people? Because I'm the one that gets fucking like it could have been me that gets like beat up by that angry racist black guy in the fucking Grand Street subway station. That's in Chinatown, right? I grew up there, all right. So I know exactly how it looks like, and like it's right by the train tracks. He easily could have shoved her onto the train tracks and killed her, right? Because we've had that happen before, right? I, I don't again, I don't know what it is, but you know. Usually when racial tensions boil up, like black people really attack Chinese and Asian people like hardcore, right? Which is why we have hate crime laws in New York City so it stops happening. And it mostly has worked. Actually, it does work, right? So, you know, I would appreciate people don't fucking do that. It's like, it's just so annoying. It's so annoying. It's like, and then he's got like a lot of followers. You know, he's got a lot more influence than he, uh, than his Twitter following indicates. So, you know, and, and that hurts me personally all right so i don't like that you know but you know what, what are you gonna do but the good news is again at least nick fuentes uh is much is much more aware of this shit so you know i, I don't have to worry as much but i still have to push back yeah <clears throat> but anyway uh but yeah it's a common problem that roosh has and then yeah he, he's just wrong about it. that there's a reason why i unfollowed him it's like okay i, I just can't deal with this all right, because uh, because doing stupid takes and ignorant takes and low IQ takes, it's like it, it that actually is going to contribute to more problems that you're trying to solve. So it's like okay, I just can't deal with it anymore. Ripple facing allegation XRP securities. Da, 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 da. This controversial crypto has surged two billion since February. As uh, okay, I don't really care. Uh, Bitcoin next. Ted Cruz argues new digital habits formed during coronavirus lockdowns will stick. Ted Cruz is actually 100% correct about that. <clears throat> wow, so Ted Cruz actually phoned in to CNBC. Um, okay. Oh, I wanted to click. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is the thing I want. So he's actually correct about this. He's actually correct about how long is this thing? 
Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn off the VPN for this. When we do get to the, the other side and we're looking at this <clears throat> in the rearview mirror, do you think this changes politics? Do you think this changes the Democratic? This changes everything because now people realize how awesome it is to work from home. And, and uh, you know, people still want to go out, but they're going to people. Everyone's going to basically become like me. All <laughs> right. You know, uh, I've been working at home for like decades. All right. And I love it. You know, uh, and now people will see, oh, yeah, I can do work from home, too. <laughs> so uh, it's going to actually have a pretty interesting impact. Staggering unemployment numbers, uh, Trump owns every death, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Party, you think it changes the Republican Party? You think it changes how you might think about uh, health care uh, and the Affordable Care Act, for example? Or do you think it changes whether we're going to force airlines to have massive balance sheet future? What, what do you, how do you see this changing that dynamic? I, I think this cr crisis changes everybody. Um, and, and, and let me talk both about about us as a people and, and then us as politics. Us as a people, the economic repercussions, I, I, I think, are going to be far reaching as you've got millions of people now learning to work from home. Uh, you know, I'm sitting here in my living room doing an interview on the phone. Uh, I've done been working from home now for weeks. There are a lot of people who are learning between telephone and email and, and teleconferencing that you can do an enormous amount uh, in your house. This morning, both my girls start doing distance learning at school. So we've got them set up, each one on a different computer in a different room of the house. And, and I think you've got millions of people that, that, that are functionally homeschooling, uh, wh whether they wanted to or not. Uh, yeah, this is a devastating blow to globalism. Like, no matter what happens, what shakes out from this, this is such a devastating, because now it's going to be so much harder to control people. It's like, what are you going to do now? And go invade their homes and start taking away their internet and force them to work, go back to the office. It's like, no, people are going to actually be like, hey, this is vastly superior to the shitty system of waking up at 8 a.m. every day. It's like, wh why am I wasting two hours for this? Let's just work from home. <laughs> and, and then in terms of how people get goods and services, uh, I don't know a person who isn't uh, using Uber Eats or DoorDash or whatever app they have to get food delivered to their house who isn't ordering groceries online, who isn't going to Amazon and, and getting kind of almost anything you want delivered online, those repercussions are going to last. Look, we were moving to a world where, where digital was, was replacing bricks and mortar. After this crisis, I think there will be a very substantial number of Americans who stick with the new patterns they've developed. So I think that is consequential in terms of our entire economy and the decisions that are made, the ordering decisions going forward. Let's see. Um, uh, so I have this. Now that time about our true need for face-to-face -face contact. Uh, of course, a retard boomer is going to say dumb shit like this. Uh, we'll boom next year. I seriously just cannot fucking stand these boomers. They're so fucking dumb. They're so they're so fucking dumb. Um, I don't know. Actually, that was actually pretty important. So we're gonna actually make this. Oh my god! Even the history button is terrible here. Um, I guess the side button's not so bad. Um, squark box. We're actually gonna make this. Um, we'll make this uh, the thumbnail. All right, let's turn to my proxy back on so uh if you like what you saw right or heard hit the like button the follow button or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from or on my youtubes at youtube.com forward slash uh jmc radio mm -hmm. excuse me i gotta make sure i burp out these uh vitamin c chewables so i don't hiccup so uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button uh on the right hand side of this page or wherever you're watching this from and uh yeah, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I just kind of just want to chill, relax, because so far, there's really nothing new uh, for the most part. It's just like, okay, you know, everything looks pretty stable. Everything's pretty predictable. I mean, until I mean, until we start getting our stimulus checks, I think, oh, yeah, so Mike Snervich did retweet me yesterday. Um, uh, where is it? Yeah, so, well, at least, so this one got a lot more money than usual, but... 
Yeah, the IRS has said, uh, I got this from NBC, and they linked directly to IRS. So I just simply linked to the IRS. But basically, they're actually sending the checks right now. Uh, and, they, and Steve Mnuchin himself said he wants to try to get everything done within three weeks. Uh, so there's the, there's that thing. Usually when Mike uh, retweets me, I used to tweet he chooses to retweet, it usually gets half this amount. So it just goes to show a lot of people just don't, like, just don't care about what I have to say. Uh, but there's a reason why I'm rich and most people are not. So, you know, whatever. I still find it irritating, though, because, you know, but then again, imagine how Jesus must have felt. Well, he was telling everyone the gospel and everyone was giving him shit about it, too. So, all right. It's like, yeah, so now I walk the same path that's similar to his. And yeah, I, I actually get it now. I get it. All right. Which, again, means, which is why I have to forgive my mom and dad so I can finally rid myself of any lingering anger and hate and whatever issues. And I'll still, of course, be able to deal better with my, uh, I guess you call it porn addiction or whatever. Um, so, you know, because for now it's kind of just muted, right? But again, the more stress I have, the more I'm like, like okay, I kind of just need something to de-stress with. Uh, but hopefully, um, you know, when those internet servers, you know, go, uh, are resolved with Tarkov, you know, maybe that'll help a little. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm waiting for crypto to go back up. Everything looks pretty solid for now. I'm still assuming there's a dead cat bounce unless the Dow and uh, S&P 500 correspondingly can, can pretty much erase most of yesterday's losses. So we'll have to see. But even if it is, again, if it was a dead cat bounce, I don't think it's going to be that bad. And of course, we still continue to monitor uh, Remmel because this is actually not a good sign. So that probably means if things, you know, are another down day, say tomorrow, yeah, Remmel is probably going to get hit kind of hard. But, you know, the truth is starting to stream in. Six million jobless claims. I assume this number is probably going to continue to skyrocket uh, until we can reopen this fucking country. Uh, and number two, um, yeah, like, why why are they going crazy with the, uh, the deaths from coronavirus? Like, that's with doing what we're doing. It's like, it should be, it really should be 10,000, 25,000. Well, that's the other thing I wanted to check, too, is coronavirus. <clears throat> Uh, survival mo Harry message. Uh, Couture is New York City. Oh, this is from four days ago. Uh, okay, I got. I got to actually turn off the uh, proxy for this. Uh, pop up in New York. So we got mobile morgues. So this is going to make people even more scared. And on top of that, since I took the Jordan Peterson psychology tests. Left-leaning people tend to be a lot more susceptible to fear and neuroticism. So this shit's just going to make everyone, like, terrified. Map of New York City breaks down. Okay. Delivers in New Yeah, raw actor Nick Korean. I see a fan of fears coronavirus. Uh, yeah, I don't understand, but a lot of actors and famous people are actually getting coronavirus. It's not a hoax. I don't think it's a hoax. So I don't understand. Why are they getting it? Aren't they also staying at home, too? Even if they were going out, like, everyone's doing social distancing. I don't know what's going on. Video shows New York City hospital overwhelmed with coronavirus patients. Yep. Uh, yeah, so, well, we're building hospitals now, so. Uh, EMT to stop taking people in car arrest of coronavirus. Uh, yeah, that's why we have, um... Uh, the comfort. That's where we're going to be taking all the non-coronavirus patients. 40% of New York tenants may not pay rent this month. What happens then? Yeah, again, I don't understand why we don't have a rental freeze either. Many New York are young, surprising doctors. Yeah, you know why? Because everyone's fat. And the problem is uh, our piece of shit fake news terrorist media is not reporting that fact. So, all right. You know, as a, like, so I'm like a borderline case, so I still have to be very careful. Um, yeah, I don't see, uh, uh, yeah, right now I'm seeing general words, but where's the actual numbers, right? <clears throat> All right, so U.S. is brave, bracing for hor hor horrific weeks as deaths are now 5,100. I assume this is in America. Yeah, this is nowhere near 100,000 to 250K. Um, but then again, like everyone, see, everyone's got pre-existing conditions too. Almost everyone that dies from coronavirus has a pre-existing condition. They're also leaving that out too. It's like, you know, the fake news terrorists are really, you know, 
I think they're really hedging their bets. Like they're trying to tell people the truth about coronavirus so they don't die. But on the other hand, they also want to take out Donald Trump. So this is like their last chance. And it's really starting to annoy me. Uh, Cuomo NY Gov Twitter. Let's see. He usually gives out the numbers pretty well too. Uh, Apple has donated 1.9 million masks to the state of New York and more is on the way. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Uh, yeah, because I already have mine from like the spinach store that I bought it from, right? You know, the, the cheap Chinese uh, made uh, masks. There's actually a video circulating that like there's a guy rubbing his feet with it. Uh, apparently they're actually defective masks, but everyone just assumes they're actually shipping it. So, um, and of course, Twitter and Reddit, everyone's deleting it. So I assume it's actually just, you know, idiots just not doing fact checking, uh, which again proves that conservatives will retake power, but they won't be able to hold it because they, 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 it's like no, nobody just like they just make too many assumptions. It's like, hey, maybe because like they just assume everyone is just evil when they see it at face value. Right. Liberals do the same dumb shit, too. So um, but actually, but, you know, liberals do it much worse. But I can definitely see why conservatives just just lose power because it's like I don't know, man. Like cr crazy shit's not uh, is go is gonna get pretty. Uh, you know, it's like it's it's not good. But I mean, on the other hand, there are enough people talking about it too. So yeah, it did and the and the comments that did at least on Reddit, the comments that did say yeah, they're all defective. They actually got a lot of upvotes too. I don't think they're they are manipulated either. So. Today is census day. Well, well, yeah, I already completed the census. It's actually took like three minutes. Uh, Regenerate donate 500k test kits for New York free of charge. We get the first batch on Monday. Very good. Uh, how many people have to die for the people ignoring social distancing? Get that they have a responsibility. One person sees another person gets intubated. We have to look at. Uh, I mean, as much as I fucking hate the shutdown, he is right. Because again, New York City is an exception. We are very densely packed. The closest human being is like literally 15, 20 feet away from me. I'm separated by the walls and doors, right? Most of you who live out in like the country, it's like, it's like miles. It's a totally different dynamic. And there's like 8.5 million of us here. Again, if we were just doing what was normal and I had coronavirus, I walk out to say Target to do shopping. I would literally infect probably a couple thousand people by myself. That's how insane it is. Right. But not everyone should be doing a shutdown. And that's the problem that I have. Even in New York City, I feel like we could probably eventually do a little bit of a recovery. Right. You know, if we have enough testing, then we reopen a little bit. Right. It doesn't have to be this extreme. Right. Because, again, I'm a more center right type of guy. It's like, you know, you don't have to go to the extreme. It's like, well, we shut everything down or let everybody free. It's like, why don't you just do both, right? But you know why people don't like that? It's because it takes effort to monitor everything and to actually think and, you know, think in between. It's so much easier to just go one way or the other way, yes or no, right? You know, because also that's kind of how school teaches you. Yes, it's still too high, it's still too dangerous. We're closing the New York State play on. They are too crowded. Open space remain open for fresh air and sun. Six days to stop the spread. Yep. Yeah, I don't even have a park near me. Roy, just as rule rule has been asked, so rule America this virus uh this one yeah maybe. I mean, yeah, even in rural New York or rural America, like people do congregate, especially when we get to church. So that's probably where, that's where it comes from. Uh the daily briefing, states emotional support, uh get free uh, uh New York are smart, we're really gonna get tough. We're gonna say we'll get through together, yes. Uh it's my, it's your family, uh, your city, put packs around you. One thing I do like about the social distancing thing, thing, th social distancing thing is it really does for, uh, tell me who is really selfish and who's being a real piece of shit. It's like, it literally costs nothing to do this. It costs almost no effort, but you still cannot be bothered to do this. That really makes me really not like you, right? There was a tweet that I put out that didn't even say anything, and there was this guy. Uh, I can't even say I can't even say the f word, right? But he's like a gay right wing guy, Lucian Wintrich. I already knew immediately off the bat that this guy was just bad vibes. He was polite when I first met him at the Night for Freedom, the first one that Mike ever did, where the fucking Antifa showed up and punched uh, whatever. 
And now I understand, you know, yeah. And you know what he did? He literally came to New York and said, yeah, this is all about civil liberties. Fuck everybody, all right? Let's all come in in a crowd. You fucking evil piece of shit, all right? There's a reason why we don't, and he's, like, there's a reason why I don't trust uh, certain types of people because they always do this shit, right? And now, now, now I understand. And now I understand why Ali Alexander, because he also engages in similar behavior, not as bad, but he still does apparently. But this was like a long time ago. Obviously, we've been blocking each other ever since he decided to be a fucking asshole, p- evil piece of shit to me. So maybe, and he said he did acknowledge it was a problem. So I guess maybe he's still working on it, right? But he's close uh, friends with Lucy and Wintrich. Right? I'll let you guys fill in the blanks yeah you know you are who you hang out with right so yeah it's like okay it's like dude you can't just fuck and again the fact that he's all it's also not a problem with conservatives in general right a lot a lot of conservatives think exactly like him well who gives a shit why don't you fucking like have some empathy and fucking sit down and use a little bit of that critical thinking and brain that god gave you think Hey, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I'm missing something. But they don't do that. And when too many conservatives do that, you know what happens? Bad things happen. Conservatives rightly and justifiably get blamed, and then the liberals and Democrats fucking take over, right? Why do you fucking think? Let me see. I mean, the problem is things constantly changing. Uh, House, right? Balance of power. Oh my god. I really all right. There's a thing here that basically says who will control the house. Oh, who will control the house after 2020? This is what I'm looking for. There's a fucking reason why this number is overwhelmingly is overwhelmingly still in favor of the Democrats, despite how retarded and authoritarian and violent that they are. Okay? It's because of stupid shit like what Lucy and Wintrich does. Like all these fucking retarded so-called right-wing people. I call them the fake right. I can't. I cannot call them the true f-word right. Right. Yeah. So that's that's what they are. Right. And it's putting us in danger. It's put it puts me in danger. Right. Because if I get fucking coronavirus because of stupid fucks like Lucian, I'm not gonna give a shit that he like did all this nice stuff for Trump or whatever. Right. Like go fuck yourself. I have coronavirus now. <laughs> it's like you know like it's like can, can you just stop being an asshole right but but people can't help themselves they just can't help themselves They're like well i'm just uh, uh, I, I just gotta get more famous i have to have more likes and retweets i i gotta be more you know fa- it's like it's, it's so it's so irritating and i guess i'll end it with this jesse lee peterson said yesterday that god did not create the virus because he's not like that anymore so he doesn't understand why people are blaming him for this. I didn't think people were blaming him for it. I just thought they, that's just how he still operates. I'm still a little bit on the fence, but I do understand what Jesse is getting at. It's like, I don't know. It's like, if he's not like that, maybe he should kind of slightly reconsider. <laughs> because this is really bad. This is really evil and selfish. Oh, if you actually want to know. Eat uh, NYC Lucy. Let me see if I can pull up the article for you. Um, because I don't want to go back to my Twitter to find it. Uh, Wintrich. I'm trying to get the damn URL. It's like Eat New York or Eatery New York or something like that. Uh. Let's see. This is not the site where reports to fire corona potlucks, but this but this thing is also talking about the same thing. And then they mentioned Lucy and Wintrich here. Uh, a small but chic East Village apartment. So this is even worse. He lives here, so he should fucking know. Uh, see. So now he's also saying they can't diagnose us all. That's technically true. Don't wash your hands. Just bring your favorite. This guy is such a fucking irresponsible piece of shit. By the way, this also makes Trump supporters look bad. Unfortunately, a lot of people will believe it because they actually run into a lot of people that are exactly like this. Right? When Rush V says racism is more of a problem than coronavirus, right? You know, technically that's 
not true, right? Because he's trying to mock it, but probably he does it too much. So now everyone just thinks, oh, it's not a problem at all. And it is. It's like, it's not just one thing or the other. It's like people just cannot learn to be more moderate. Right? And then we fucking, I have to fucking deal with it now. That's why I'm getting kind of like annoyed. And I'm definitely going to make sure I have to remember to put this into my fucking story. Because since the liberals basically don't exist in my story, right? Because again, I want to try to avoid the first, the problem that I had when I made my first movie, which is liberals versus conservatives, and everyone just got mad. Except the conservatives who loved it. Um, Whatchamacallit. You know, I want to try to like sidestep that, just make it more like a critique of like what's wrong with conservatives in general. So that this shit happens. And if they don't learn anything, then we... That then we justify the evil empire's you know existence because we just can't help ourselves. So yeah, so it's even he's even more fucking responsible than I thought. It's it's just it's like yeah, it, everyone eventually gets what they deserve. So that's ultimately why you know I just can't wait for Nick Fuentes and the Groiber uprising to like just really fucking you know yeah really really stick it to everyone that's just screwing us over. It's like he's. It's like what he's doing is so evil. It's so evil. It's so selfish. And it's just like whatever. I don't care what his reasoning is. All right. I, I was willing to give him a little flexibility because maybe he didn't live here. But I didn't know he lived here. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. There's, there, he knows how dense it is to be around here. It's like yeah. But anyway, I'm glad the cops are eventually going to like. I think they've actually stuck. I don't know. I know they said they're gonna. They've been saying they're gonna start enforcing it, threatening people with jail, which is good. All right. Yeah, it violates the civil liberties. But what do you want? To, what do you expect? Like, you know, you're gonna you're gonna infect us with coronavirus. So yeah. Anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, thanks for watching, and always remember. And of course, I must have accidentally uh, went too far in my rants. Therefore, my Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, because there's a. A couple of parts are easy, but I put it on auto, but it's a couple of parts where I have to stop and play it manually because of the AI. So, all right, all right, so I'll start it back up. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you all in tomorrow's video. I will be doing nothing yet again. And I've already said what I was going to say with the economics. So, thanks for watching. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and, um, yeah, well, uh, where's Donald Trump? Oh, presidential election. Oh man, I really don't like which party wins the presidential winner. This is the page. And here's our thumbnail.